So I bought another battery meter. Um, the reason I bought this one is my current battery meters only measure up to 8S. And, um, you know, I have some 36 volt and 48 volt um, batteries, which are 10S and 14S, and, and I need to measure more than just 8S. Um, but they really don't make too many battery monitors that can measure more than 8S because most battery monitors are made for RC products, and RC products kind of max out at 8S. So um, I was lucky to find this. Um, I have to say, it's much larger than I thought. I mean, most battery meters are, are this big. This thing is kind of bulky. I have not opened it yet. Let's uh, unbubble wrap and see what we got here. Okay, there's a barrel plug. And here's the meter. Uh, there is no... Okay, there's no wire, there's no balance wires with it. Um, okay, there we go. Here it is. Now, the one thing that I that I'm that I'm hoping this does is um, see it has two size pinouts. That means you can put one. There, there are there are two sizes of balance leads out there, and normally you know normally i actually wire most of my batteries with two balance sets of leads one at this pitch and one at this pitch because the bms normally uses this pitch and my like um i charger x8 and my rc products use this pitch and so i've actually often put double balance wires on my products because you know like i said different things use different pitch and this supports both so this may relieve my my need to put double balance wires on everything because it supports both both pitches um now I, i'm i haven't confirmed what size pitches these are i'm just assuming that this is the smaller pitch used by bms's and this is the larger pitch used by by um ba you know like uh, rc charges but i'll get a couple wires in a second and we'll check that these are the right are the different pitches that i was hoping that they are Okay, good news. I was right about the pitches. This is the smaller pitch used by BMSs. This is a DALI BMS balance wire here from a, a DALI BMS. Um, and this is the larger pitch used by RC chargers because here is a, a balance lead I, I have in stock for RC chargers. So this does support the two different pitches of, of wire, which is awesome. Um, and I'll show you in a second why that was so important to me. But this, as I as I was hoping, this does support. This supports up to 24 um, batteries in, in series. Um, there's a, you can see here, let's see if you can see, there we go. That's your B minus on both of these. B minus is on this, is on this, the right hand side here. And then it's B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6 and so on up through B24. So this supports a monstrous battery. I think that's 72 volts it goes up to, um, but that's awesome. So um, now these these pins feel just a little fragile, I have to say. It, it felt a little, it felt a little weird sort of sliding this on. Yeah, I I feel like you have to be somewhat careful sliding these on. These they're they're pretty solid, but I feel like you could pretty easily bend them as well. So I would say just be careful when you slide these connections on. But um I'm very happy that we have both pitches on here. That really gives me a lot of options and a lot of flexibility. So I think next thing is power this on and I'll show you some examples of what I wanted this for. So the reason I went hunting for this is you saw me in a previous video repair this e-bike battery. And this is a 14S battery. And I pretty much knew that there was a dead set of cells somewhere in this battery. But I had no way to just plug in a battery monitor and find that dead set of cells. The reason is things like my, my this ISDT here, um, A only supports an 8S and this is a 14S. And B, it uses the larger pitch um, connector this and the, B, the BMS has the smaller pitch connector on it so I couldn't just like unplug the BMS wire and plug it into a, an RC charger and find which cell was 
was dead. Um, so I had to do it manually by um, literally taking out the battery and taking a multimeter and touching each one of these group of cells and trying to find it was kind of, um, you know, it was kind of a pain in the butt to do. But in theory now, if I have problems with a battery like this, I can just pop off the BMS lead, plug it into this, and it should be able to, since all the BMS leads already run to all the different groups of cells, we should be able to just plug this smaller pitch wire into this side of the, the meter and we should be able to see all the cells. So that's what we're going to test. Um, I'm going to cut this piece of tape and disconnect this BMS uh, wire here. Okay, so now we have the BMS wire disconnected. Let's power this up. It comes with a USB barrel jack, so let's plug this in. I haven't even powered it on yet. Let's see what happens. Let's plug this into USB over here. Okay, plug this in here. Okay, it is all in Chinese, so that's helpful. I wonder what this button does. I definitely need to read the instructions and see if I can get it into English. Um, that is the total instructions, one page. So that was not helpful. Let me hold this button down and see if it does anything. Holding the button does nothing. So let me see if I can get it into English and then I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, I'm not sure there is an English version. But, I mean, I can still see it's still labeled voltage and, you know, I can still sort of figure it out. Um, but let's try plugging this, uh, this, this uh, balance connector here. Like I said, kind of be careful. Okay. Oh, it's loose. Let me squeeze it on a bit tighter. Okay, let's see here. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Well, actually, let me just bring this over here. Okay, so uh, the total battery voltage is 51 volts. We have 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9. There is one pack, pack 11, that's 3.8, that seems a little out of balance. Um, but total difference in, in um, our total um, uh, variance between the high and low pack is 0 0.069 volts, which is perfectly fine. Um, and it's reading that it's a 30... Oh, okay, hang on, what is going on here? I think some of these pins are... Are still loose. Um, oh, this is actually a 13. I think this is a 13. Yes, this is actually a 13S pack, not a 14S pack, 13S pack. Um, so this is correct. There are 13 cells. Um, so besides one pack being maybe a hair lower, um, I can now easily read all the voltage on all these, on all these pins, uh, on all these you know series batteries pretty easily. So that's your total voltage, your high voltage, your low voltage, your difference, and the number of batteries in series. Um, not sure what the button does. We can hold the button, see if it does absolutely anything. It seems to do nothing. So, like I said, not sure what the battery do button does, but that doesn't matter. This is very helpful. I don't need multiple balance leads. I can plug right into the BMS's balance lead. I can get all my battery voltage readouts. I can see my high and low battery, the the difference that I have that I have to work with, and figure out whether I need to do any balancing on this pack. Um, this is exactly what I needed. Nice and simple. It's larger than I thought, but it's nicely constructed. It's got the plexi cover, plexi bottom. Um, useful, you know. Um, so yeah, I think this is this is pretty helpful. Now this does no balancing. This isn't you know this isn't going to balance. This isn't going to charge. This is just a meter. Um, but on larger packs, when you have 16 S's, 14 S's, 13 S's, 
and you want to quickly read all your battery voltages, um, this is very helpful. Um, another thing is if you have kind of a dumb BMS like I do, I use all the DALI BMSs without the Bluetooth interface, there's really no easy way to know how the battery is, you know, how the individual batteries are doing unless you plug in something like this or the ISDT or whatever. So now this gives you the ability with just a dumb BMS to read all your battery voltages and decide if you need to do any sort of manual balancing or if the pack's healthy and you need to get involved. So yeah, for what I needed it to be, this is awesome. Okay, let's see how the uh, this new um, meter stacks up to the uh, ISDT. We'll check it on my power wall here. Um, So here we go, here's this meter. Um, I'm gonna do the ISDT first. Um, I'm gonna plug it into the external balance wires here. Okay, let's see. Uh, the battery is nicely balanced and it says it has a, uh, um, a delta of 18 millivolts. Pretty good. Let's check out the uh, this new meter. Okay, now I got to remember that most negative goes on this side, and that is gonna go. About like that. Okay. There we go. This is we have a delta of. 0 0.14 volts and all nicely balanced um, yeah so this thing seems pretty accurate compared to the ISDT um, similar sort of Delta um, yeah I'm happy I really like I really do like the fact that it takes both kinds of connections it just makes life so much easier um, but yeah I mean wish I could get this in English and I'd like to know what uh, what this says. I might have to Google Translate that, but um, yeah, this is nice. So I did Google Translate this uh, screen. You can see that it's the it's total voltage, maximum voltage, minimum voltage, maximum differential, number of battery strings, and then. Uh, I like the little meat I like the little saying down in the bottom corner here, corner here. The battery is in good condition. Please keep it. <laughs> That's a fun little saying, but yeah, 